Hello, 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 what's up there? How are you? This is English for University Students. In this lesson, I'm going to tell you about how you can outline and sketch your slides. I know that uh, research presentation can be difficult sometimes, but using PowerPoint or slides can be very much helpful because they are good visual apps that will help you to present a good research presentation. So in this lesson, I'm going to tell you how you can prepare PowerPoint or slides for good research presentation. So let's get started guys. So today we are going to talk about research presentation PowerPoint preparation tips. So I'm going to tell you how you can prepare and how you can outline and sketch your slides for good research presentation. So one, one thing that we can say here is that firstly PowerPoint is can be excellent way to provide your audience with key information and image during your talk. They are good visual aids, that's why it is important. Uh, before we go to the point, uh, let us first uh, try to learn these pointers. The generic representative uh, presentation, for instance, um, project presentation can be 10 up to 15 minutes and uh, research paper defense can be 10 minutes. Anyways, the representative slides, no, number of slides that you can have is a 10 minutes presentation for instance should have about 12 slides. So this means you have to use PowerPoint slides sparingly, uh, just one slide for up to one up to three minutes of your talks. If you do this, uh, you're gonna have two slides. So having this in mind, let's talk about uh, how you can uh, sketch and outline your slides. So the first uh, slide can be about title slide, uh, which is one. One slide can be given for a title. So here you can include uh, the title, the title of your project or research, and the author, that means your name, affiliation, your department, your faculty, and then the logo of the university or the institution. Uh, the second uh, slide is just the number is going to be one slide, just brief outline of your presentation. What are you going to tell them? Just give them how, with, with what step you are going to tell them. Uh, Sodily comes rationally. Rationally can take one of two slides. So it's about why this research or project is so interesting. Tell them your purpose, a little bit of background and then uh, the summary of just uh, your uh, research uh, statement of the problem. Uh, then the comes methods. One up to two slides is enough. What you did. And then comes tips, results. It takes about two up to four slides. So here is about what you did, to, what you did find, and uh, what does it mean. And finally uh, comes the final slide. Summary can take uh, just one slide. So here you just tell them one thing the audience is going to remember, the takeaway that you are going to give them. So having this structure, you only have 12 slides, easy to understand and uh, brief and clear. Okay, let's continue. So PowerPoint preparation tips is the next lesson. So the following tips are very much helpful uh, you need to consider them when you prepare your PowerPoint for research or project uh, uh, presentation. So the first is uh, font color in the background. Try to be consistent throughout your presentation. Having your design consistency means a lot. So let's see them one by one. First, the font size. 28 for text and 40 for titles and editing is uh, must be applicable in here. And uh, the font type. Sorry, fonts like Times New Roman is good because it is easier to read for the audience. Don't use other uh, like uh, sensory fonts. Uh, with regard to color, do not use too many colors or too much technology in your slides. What's advised is three colors are ideal. Use at least three colors for your text to see your slides. Stick to that design. Uh, when it comes to background, use the same background color for all slides. So for instance, uh, you may use contrast, uh, light uh, text on dark background or dark uh, text on light background. And if you don't have uh, any kind of hint about this, just stick to the color schemes provided with PowerPoint. So the software will make it, e it, will make it easier for you. Second, use of white space. 
Blanky areas help the reader through the data and avoid the appearance of overcrowding. So your slides must have uh, many uh, white spaces. It, it doesn't need to be uh, all, uh, cluttered together. So try to keep your slides neat and uncluttered as much as you can. Uh, next comes the text. Use short and simple phrases in place of sentence or paragraphs. Don't just uh, write full sentence or paragraph in your slides going to be boring. So let me tell you one by one what you are going to do. One main point per slide is enough. Don't go beyond that. Second, one thought or one point per line. In your uh, slides you have lines, so in that line put only one thought or point. Third, don't exceed five up to seven words per line. And then Six lines per slide is enough. Um, maybe the average five up to seven lines per slide is enough. Anyway, six lines is uh, what I advise you. And five fifths comes uh, words. No more than 36 words per slide is advised. So as much as you can stick to this rule so that you can have good slides for your presentation. Uh, the other rule that is going to be shared here is it's a should have a title. And each slide should serve as a note card. Don't just write everything. The slide should be like a hint for your audience and for yourself during your presentation. The other points you need to consider here again, use combination of uppercase and lowercase lettering because using all capital letters is harder to read. Uh, the other point is uh, don't use commas, semicolons, uh, uh, or periods in visuals or in your slides. And instead, uh, use just bullets or numbers to separate or group ideas. And lastly, be consistent with bullets, fonts, and any other hierarchical styles in your slides. Fourth comes uh, the biggest one, the hearts of your slides, graphs and tables. Graphs and tables are the best way to summarize large quantities of raw data and they can simplify your data, but don't just use them carelessly. Just simplify the data. Uh, so that your uh, audience can read and understand your material easily. Show only the essential information. Don't come up with everything in your uh, research or project paper. And again, be consistent in style, terminology, font, color style, and, uh, and so forth. Uh, that element should be the thickest and the brightest colors. As you can see from the example I have given you on the left side, you can see there is a green color for the elements and uh, frames, grid lines, axis lines, and error bars should be lighter in color and weight. As you can see, I have used background color in the example. So this is how you can design. X and, uh, X and Y axis lines should end at least at uh, the last data point. That's what you can see from the picture. And uh, if you can include legends. Legend means uh, an explanatory list of symbols on the chart. So just in short words, just two or three words, uh, say or write for your audience about uh, what you have included in your uh, chart or table. Tips comes picture, especially natural science students and uh, engineering students and others may use a picture, medical even in medicine. Uh, so use pictures uh, as much as you can correctly. Firstly, number one picture per slide. Don't bring too many pictures in one slide. Just use one picture per slide. And with regard to the size, uh, as much as you can, try to stick to the PowerPoint XP version because uh, it can easily uh, uh, compress your image for your presentation. With regard to the format, again, uh, GPT format is uh, uh, good for your uh, uh, pictures in your slides. So. Having this in mind, let's talk about uh, the last point. When giving presentation, please, please follow these four points I'm going to tell you. The first point is have a backup plan. Without a backup plan, you are like a soldier going to a war without any kind of material for fighting. So, uh, in case just uh, the technology may fail on that day, Try to come up with a printed version of your slides as well as any notes uh, that you may wish to have. Second, look at the audience, not the screen, not the audience. I mean, uh, not one person in the audience. So scan 
and look at their faces, all the audience, but do not focus or dwell on any individual, maybe your friend, that can make some people very uncomfortable. Uh, so try to place the PC screen in front of you so that you can see what's on the screen without having to, to turn around and look at it all the time and then by turning your back uh, on the audience don't give your back to the audience in any presentation that is uh, rule of the thumb uh, false camps speak clearly and slowly no one remembers what you have said if you are speak too fast or if you are just slowly like a snail so as much as you can try to vary your tone unless it's going to be monotonous for the audience so these are uh, what you need to do during your presentation. Uh, next comes, uh, sorry, uh, the most common PowerPoint mistakes you need to avoid. Always look for the following mistake to make a great PowerPoint presentation. Uh, the first mistake you need to avoid is slide must not be self-explanatory. Don't try to put every word you are going to say on your PowerPoint slide because it's going to be crowded, wordy, and boring. And again, uh, keep everything simple. Less is more and big is beautiful. That's what uh, we say about slides. Uh, give proper credit for each slide. You need to edit every slide. Not even a single mistake should have to be the spelling mistake. Big mistake, nothing makes you look stupider than spelling error in front of your audience and examiners. So look this example I've given him there. Uh, as much as you can uh, try to strive for consistency. Use similar size, number of elements, font, color, background, because uh, unless you are going, going to be consistent, it's going to be difficult for the audience to understand you. Be consistent with the use of capital and lowercase letters too. And then comes uh, the final one, check up. You need to check the availability, the availability of a computer and the multimedia projector on the day because uh, you, need, you may need to have a backup plan if it fails. Uh, check up again, uh, here again, practice using the technology. In case you get lost, uh, something may happen. So let me give you some examples of good and bad slides. This is the bad slide no one wished to uh, even attend. So it's overcrowded, cluttered, and it's not uh, good for even for the presenter, not only for the audience. <laughs> But this one is more a uh, good slide. As you can see, only uh, phrases are written uh, and uh, the, there is a lot of white space. So this is a nice, nice good slide. So this will take us today. And thank you. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, for regular updates. Until I meet you next Friday. Bye.